If you're a new car buyer, you may not be ready for the real costs of a new car. Since a new car is a big investment, you'll probably need to get financing for that car. If you enter into a car loan agreement without thinking it through, you can end up paying much more money than you expected and finding yourself in hot water financially. You can find yourself upside down on your car. Apart from the cost of your car, there's the total cost of your car loan. This will include the amount you're borrowing on the car, the interest rate you'll be paying, and the fees your lender will charge you to close the loan. You need to know that a lender makes his money from selling car loans to you, the car buyer, and incurs certain costs to do this, which he passes along to you. It's nothing shady. The lender needs to make a certain amount of profit in order to stay in business. Make sure you've figured the cost of the car loan fees into your budget so you can pay those costs right off the bat. You also need to be aware of the fact that you'll be paying taxes and fees on the car, which vary widely from state to state. If you have the price range of the car you want in mind, it's very easy to figure out how much the taxes and license will be. You can get a clear idea of what your taxes and fees will be from your local department of motor vehicles. Some even post these fees and how to calculate them online. Car loans that offer a low down payment may save you some money in the beginning, but can end up costing you a lot of money in the end. Plan to pay at least 20% for your down payment. In fact, the more you can put down on a car up front, the less pain you'll feel when the term of your car loan is up. By putting down a significant amount of money on your new car, you'll protect yourself from owing more on a car than it's worth. Being upside down on a car because you've taken out a long-term car loan or because you didn't put enough down or forgot to calculate all the costs beforehand can seriously harm your finances, credit rating, and may keep you from getting another car when it comes time to trade it in. When you owe more on a car than it's worth and you need to trade it in or sell it, you end up having to pay off the balance of what you owe or wind up paying interest on that should you take out a loan on your next car. This is a short drive to a financial nightmare as the cost and interest of a car loan mount over time. Get a grip and keep your budget on track by knowing the total cost of your car loan. Time to stay right side up. Federal Auto Loan. Good credit, bad credit, no credit, all good.